and welcome to Tech Boost TV. I'm Jaime, and today I'm going to show you how to install a hard drive and a solid state drive into the Dell T5610 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and ensuring the latest firmware is installed on your motherboard. For this installation, you will need a small Phillips head screwdriver. Please check out the quick spec link in the description below to learn more about hard drive and solid state drive compatibility for the Dell T5610. First, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the white light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. We recommend going through this process with the workstation on its side to have better access to the system's interior. We also highly recommend you check the user's manual and comply with any further recommended safety instructions. To open the system, lift the side latch and set the panel aside. Remove a tray and place the hard drive inside of the tray like so. Each of the four pins must be plugged into the retaining holes on the four corners of the hard drive. Once properly mounted, the hard drive will be flush with the tray and you can reinsert the tray back into the bay. Reattach the cables and now data and power are provided. On the other hand, if you are installing an SSD, the process is the same except that you will need to mount a drive bay converter. To install the drive into the drive bay converter, you will need to mount the smaller SSD into the converter as shown. This requires the use of four small screws. Once the SSD is installed, the rest of the process is the same as a regular hard drive install, with the entire converter and SSD assembly taking the place of the regular hard drive. Regardless of the chosen drive, ensure both cables are attached. Now that it is installed, reattach the outer panel and you are done. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, memory, hard drive, and video card installation for this and other systems. If you found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy with requesting additional content. 